Hello guys, it's Sugarbush here, and today I'm going to show you how to uh, hide objects from certain cameras. This is actually a fairly simple tutorial, so it's, it's actually pretty easy. So usually you would do, what you would do is you would go to culling mask and give, assign like objects like, okay, if we go create a cube, let's position this really quick, somewhere, and you want that to be you want to hide that from the view of this camera. Normally what you'd have to do is you'd have to give this a layer. So you'd have to give this a layer. Assign this to a layer. And then you have to change the, the culling mask here without the cube. That's one way to hide it from the camera. So you see that I just, uh, what I did was I, so with so with this game object selected, you would assign it to a new layer and disable that layer full of, and then go to back to your camera, culling mask and disable that layer. That's one way to do it. However, you might want to use layer masks, masks for something else like uh, lighting and stuff. So there is a way to hide objects manually. So let's go, uh, let's go back to default and delete that layer. And let me show you. If you got, if you did my original, uh, my other tutorial on see-through camera, this should be really easy. All right, so let's go to scripts. Let's go right-click, create, C-sharp script, and we'll just call it hide from camera. Let's let that create itself. So yeah. So what we're going to need is serialize field game object objects to hide. So serialize field remember it's is like it only goes to the editor. Only the editor and this script have access to it. So you do want it you have to assign these in the inspector. That's the idea. And these are the objects that we're going to hide from the camera. So yeah, first of all, get rid of start and update. We don't need those. So, in case you don't know, if you didn't see my other tutorial, there is a function called void on pre cull. And this, the this is like before the camera renders. And I'm pretty sure this function is only going to get called if this script is attached to a camera. Okay, if there's no camera attached to the script, I'm pretty sure this this function doesn't get called from this script. So just keep that in mind. We don't actually have to require a camera component, but okay, anyways, it's actually pretty easy. So for, we'll do for each game object, obj and objects to hide, and obj.setActive false. So remember, pre cull is, is before a camera renders the scene. So we're gonna set these, each object in here, we're gonna set it, we're basically just setting it active to false. We're hiding it before this camera renders. And then void on post render, very similar thing. Just copy that, paste it, and then re-enable the object. So I'll put in comments. So disable the object before this camera renders. Re-enable the object for other cameras to render. So yeah, let's save and let that compile. Let's go back and see through camera. Uh, we need to actually give it this hide from camera script here and uh, give it an object to hide. So let's drag the cube in. This cube object here is going to be the object to hide. So right now in the inspector, the cube, uh, the camera can actually see the cube. And with this circle, we should be able to see this visually. We should be able to visualize this and see it in the circle. So let's begin. So yeah. You can see that 
that circle right there, that object is disabled. That object, this object is not enabled. Th remember this, there's a circle here that shows what the view camera sees, or the see-through camera sees. And it's, this is literally getting disabled before this camera renders, and then it's re-enabling itself other cameras. Yeah. So that's pretty much all it is for this tutorial. This was a fairly quick one, but I think it's probably useful to know. The idea is to hide objects from a camera. It is possible to hide objects from a camera without using layer masks. All right, that's the point here. You can do it manually. Like you have it summary summarize this really quickly I created an objects to hide variable game object array and then each one of them I go through each object and set it active to false on the pre call function and then we go to on post render and re-enable the object so other cameras can render it so yeah that's really all it is uh, I hope you guys found this really quick tutorial useful and I'll see you guys later